Lucky here. It's the Pat and JT podcast. Pat and JT podcast. Patandjt.com. Go there and uh, links to, to, to everything. It's episode 336 <laughs> of our um, It's Pat and JT podcast. It Crazy to me. Last week, we randomly mentioned the Wiggles. Everybody knows the Wiggles. Yeah. If you do, I mean, even if you don't yeah. have kids, you know who the Wiggles are. Um, huge in Australia. And the fact that we mentioned them last week, Jeff, narcoleptic, falls asleep. Like, he's not, but his character is. Right. He falls asleep all the time. And the news that came out about Greg Wiggle, the, that, was it that day or the day after? The day after. It was the day after. Having a heart attack, cardiac arrest on stage in front of all these yeah. kids. CPR. They were at a fundraiser for the bushfires. Um, and Yeah. Just, Unreal. I couldn't believe it. This is one of those weird things. This has happened to us several times over the last year and a half or whatever, <clears throat> where you mention something that you haven't thought about in a long time, and then all of a sudden something else happens that has to do with it, and you're like, whoa. Right, either good or bad. It just right. like, like stirs it up. Just crazy. But yeah, I saw that about the Wiggles, and I thought, oh my God, that's terrible, because I'm sure there were little kids in the audience. Oh, it was packed. It, right? I, I didn't video, watch the video of it. I watched. I didn't watch all of it, but I watched it to the point where he went down, and, mm. and you could see the of the other guys kind of, you know, knowing something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And they had the camera kind of at the corner of the stage and when it kind of panned out a little bit before it happened, it was packed. Mm -hmm. it was just packed. I mean, they're rock stars in imagine. Australia. They're huge. Just the, the chance of anything like that happening. You think about all the live performances that happen right. with all the different types of performers. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Music, plays i mean all that said live performances that happen you very rarely ever hear of something like that happening there was that comedian a couple, year, a couple of years ago that died on stage in canada it was um he was on a stool sat down and, and slunched over and had a heart attack i don't time. remember that yeah you have to and it's it was he, he was mentioning not feeling well yeah and just kind of got asked for a stool and was sitting down and just that was it just lights out. Wow. Curtain. i mean it's very very weird i just i, I don't i can't think of anybody else i've heard of that happening to and i'm sure that there's been others you know i mean you think about some of the rock bands the 70s and 80s and what what they were ingesting <laughs> right and and still were able to complete those very uh, exhausting um performances that they did yeah i don't get it i don't either <clears throat> wow, that's really sad. We um got some yes. some text, and this one actually involves you. 402-403-9478. Samantha <laughs> says, oh my God, every once in a while, I play a certain section of the podcast on half speed. <laughs> Listen to the section where JT, uh, it's a minute in, in today's podcast, which would have been Thursdays. Okay. So what's today's Monday. Yeah. So you guys do the math. Okay. I'm, I'm not a math, <laughs> math doctor. Minus one, two, 11 three, minutes in, four. yeah, okay. I'm dying. Okay, yeah, so uh, yeah, 335 minus four. 331. Okay. 331. Wow, that's not that hard. I just didn't, I didn't want to. That's actually pretty easy to do. Thanks. So one minute in. One, 11 minutes in. 11 minutes in. Yeah. So oh listen dear. to that at half speed. Uh, and if you're just discovering that, listen to a lot of things at half speed when you listen to podcasts. So awesome. Anybody's, anybody's podcast. Seriously. Um, let's see. Uh, hi guys. This is Laura from Omaha. Um, I'm the one who wants to join JT's gym, the gym that. Yeah. It's at the gym that's actually work out for the first two months and it turns into a bar. Yes. Perfect. She goes, I'll bring my own towel and hand sanitizer. I'll even play with Jack free of charge. So you got Jack covered. <laughs> or it could be the gym that's in my house. Because yeah. we did have somebody else say they paid 10 bucks a month to come work out in my basement. Yeah, but I think that's that guy had creepy. ulterior motives. That's a little creepy. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Same guy that's doing Pornhub, I think. <laughs> um, okay, so good morning. This is Emily. So I'm driving home from the gym and listening to episode 325. You guys are talking about Uber Air becoming a possibility. Yeah. My question is, how much is that going to cost? Probably not cheap. Um, yesterday, no I tried idea. to take an Uber from 48th and L down to Bellevue at 25th and Cornhusker. The lowest Uber price was 68 bucks. What? Uh-huh. And no, that wasn't a drone ride either. Anyone else <laughs> have ridiculous price experience with Uber in Omaha? My brother had the opposite of that on, I think it was New Year's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, New Year's Eve from it wasn't it wasn't from like downtown to wherever, but it was from 144th and Harrison to his house on like 192nd and Center. It was 11 bucks on New Year's Eve at like one one oh five or oh something. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, how much control do they actually have over their pricing? I don't think it, I don't think they have control over it. I, mean, I don't know, but I don't. Yeah, they. Because, I don't think they can set it because you know because Uber's got to know how much they're getting paid. <clears throat> yeah, and then they get their. Right? Yeah, I don't think I don't they, know how I don't that think, works. I don't think they. I think Uber sets it on the the amount of requests at the time and the area and the time of day and everything. You know, we when we yeah. went on our honeymoon, we for like a week leading up to up to it, priced at about the same time we would need to leave to go to the airport. Whether we're going to ask my mom to take us or take an Uber. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously. Thanks. So thanks mom for taking us. Cause it was too freaking expensive, but every, like for a week we, we would try at that same time in the morning and it was yeah. like 35 bucks yeah. and which would have been the same to pay to park, you know, whatever. So we just have my mom take us, but <laughs> an hour earlier or an hour later, the price was different by like 20 bucks. It's crazy. Wow. Huh. And to the airport, I'm sure you go from anywhere yeah. to the airport, it's going to be more expensive. True. Yep. <clears throat> no doubt. And yeah. getting out of the airport. <laughs> I'm right. sure too, especially if you had to go to West Omaha. Exactly. I've, I've taken him like to downtown. Um, like, the, maybe from anywhere to downtown might not be bad, but then they get you roped in because downtown to what? <laughs> to how much? Right. I got Mama's got to get home. You got to get home, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, um, this is a. Uh, this is from Beth, 402-403-9478. It says, um, laughing so hard at the pickle misspeak this morning when I asked <laughs> the cook why I had a big DCK. Oh, my God. Um, it says, <laughs> reminds me of my own. After my daughter's wedding, I was so tired that night and wanted someone to hand me a, a wick dipper to douse the <laughs> candle. I don't even need to finish this text. I know where this is going. I got it backwards. Needless to say, my family calls me the dick whipper. <laughs> Are you guys pass me a dick waver? Oh my God, Beth, that's hilarious. For the rest of your life. Yeah. For the rest of your life. And she says, uh, love the pod. I'm a Kugler loyalist. Haven't missed an episode yet. So awesome. thank you, Beth. That is so Thank you. You are now you don't need to even sign your name Beth anymore, just the dick D-W. whipper. Yeah, D dub. <laughs> it's our D-dub. dick whipper. But wick there dipper, is it is. called a wick dipper? A wick dipper? Is that, I, is I it, didn't is know like that's a, what it was. Like a snuffer? A snuffer is what I would go with. A wick snuffer. Wick snuffer. Or, or a candle snuffer. It's a, it's a dick whipper. That's all I know. That's <laughs> hilarious. God, I love that. That's great. <laughs> Rolling into 2020, want to thank Coogler Vision for supporting our yes. podcast, the Pat and JT podcast. They've been with us practically from the beginning and and couldn't be happier to be associated with them and all the great things that they're doing, Dr. Kugler and the entire staff. They're just first class, first class people in general, but first class facility, no doubt. Um, they, they lead the pack really when it comes to the technology, when it comes to having those procedures done that are going to completely change your, <laughs> the way you see everything. Pat and I both had procedures done and uh, I, I only wish I'd done it sooner. Um, and a lot of people, I think, stay away from because they're a little nervous about it. They don't know what it, they don't know what it's all about. So right. you, you can go to their website. You can go in. You can get a consultation. We were in the office just the other day and walking through there. You're reminded as how streamlined the process is, how non intimidating it is, and how you know at the end of it you're going to yeah. get a cookie, a delicious <laughs> cookie. <laughs> they do right when you walk in the front door. As a matter of fact, Corey was at the desk and uh, she gets you checked in and, and whoever you're there to see and the doctors there really know their stuff. Um, and uh, more information, if you are maybe just thinking about for the very first time yeah. getting any sort of procedure like that, there's so much information on kuglervision.com. You can go there and you can find out everything. You can schedule your consultation. Yeah. You can find out about all the different procedures they offer and then you can go in and find Which, out if you're a candidate. That's what a lot of people don't realize too is there's not just one procedure that you can have done. I think there's seven. Seven, yeah. And depending on what your eyes require, they, they run you through a battery of tests and then they tell you these are your options. And now let's, and then you let them kind of guide you as to what is going to benefit you the most for the long run. Um, and we're excited to be working with them this year because obviously it's 2020. Right. So there, you know, this, and if you're thinking about this at all ever, <laughs> this is the universe telling you you're in 2020, maybe you can see as close to 2020 as possible. So it's right? the time you need to go into Kugler Vision. Absolutely. And remember this promo code Patent JT 2020. But check in at their website at kuglervision.com for more details. And thank you, Kugler Vision. I love the some of the comments that were on here after we had the uh, Miss Nebraska's on. Mm-hmm. And there are some pictures of the girls and a picture of you with the girls. And uh, one says they sport the crowns. Pat sports the thunder jacket. Which I have on today. <laughs> He's got his vest zipped up to his chin. Yeah, I sure do. Um, <laughs> it, it just, it, you know what? Come on, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. With... When you have Spanx on, it just feels, this is my belly, this is my belly oh my Spanx, keeps the anxiety down, makes me feel like I'm, Hilarious. have abs. That's right. There you go. And then uh, another one too, mentioning the fact that in order for you to get your hand around their waist, your hands are above your shoulders. It's about right. <laughs> I mean, these girls are tall. What, six, six foot and six two? Six foot and six two. Yeah. I mean, they're very tall. Seriously, and I'm five, six soaking wet. Your, I mean, her hips are under your armpit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. And I think it's hysterical. I love it. I just think it's funny. When I find uh, there's a lady that's much taller than me, I, I don't hope it's not offensive to anybody. I know it's not to them. No. 
but I think it's just funny. So far, you've had very good luck with that. So far, it hasn't. It hasn't because they think I'm cute. Back, they, they're right? like, oh, he's a oh, cute old short fat come guy. Come on up here and sit on my lap. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Which was, that's the next step. Like, can I just? Can you please? Just can I just me, sit on your knee? Just, Please, just let me curl swaddle right me. Here, right just hold me. Yeah. That would be hilarious. That would be a great fit. You could probably get Megan to do that. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it one bit. We, a, quick, a funny thing, real quick. It was like not synchronicity, but just weird. Okay, <laughs> we went on it's Friday not what night. Synchronicity means went to okay. synchronicity doesn't mean weird. Weird. Well, this is weird. You can decide what word okay. goes before it. Um, we went to a happy hour on Friday night just to have some cocktails, and a guy walked in, and he looked exactly to the T like um, the big dude from Lost. Um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember now because I Googled it 500 the times. With that the night. curly red hair? Yeah, long, bigger guy. Yeah, he's the one that had the the, the numbers, the lottery yes. numbers. Yeah, so we walked in and it's like not even kidding. We we're like, I almost went up and asked Wasn't him. Wasn't like, he from Omaha? And that's what, or, right. And that's what solidifies. He's from Omaha, born and raised yeah. in Omaha. Yeah. So, and I'm. How and, do I remember that? And that's exactly, exactly <laughs> what I said. <laughs> we're sitting at the table. I'm like, you know what? I think he's from Omaha. Oh, Omar, Oscar, whatever. Omaha uh, or Iowa. I, I'm thinking he's from Omaha. He is. I looked it up. And, oh he, my God. and he is, uh, yeah, lost cast. That's what I Googled because I had had a couple sodas. Uh, Jorge Garcia. Yes. Jorge Garcia. Yeah, I Googled him, looked him up on Wikipedia, and yeah, he's born and raised in Omaha. And that even like, okay, that had to gotta be, him. be him. It wasn't him. I it mean, wasn't? It, no, it, I didn't go up and ask him, but I knew after a while it wasn't him. But it was weird that he he walked in, looked just like him, and yeah. dude's from Omaha. And for, he is from Omaha. That's yeah. crazy. I can't believe I remember that. I love that show. Yeah. Just I just want to go like, dude, show. what were the numbers? Just the numbers. Tell, explain <laughs> well, we know it. what the, we know the what plane the numbers, go? Where'd I want to know. Go? Yeah, give me the answers. Why did this get so messed up? I mean, it's like they didn't have an exit plan. Yeah. They they did it the first season, and they're like, everybody likes it. Right. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what are we going to do now? <laughs> I don't know. Make up some more stories. I don't know how this is going to end. How are we going to get this fixed? And then it was, and then it was just a mess at the end. But the first couple seasons were glorious. Oh my God, they yeah, were, were good. Glorious. Uh, I just came across a reality show on Netflix. At okay. first, I thought it was a movie, but I think it is actually like a, like scripted. But I think it is actually a reality show. It's called The Circle. If anybody's heard okay. of it, I just found it, and I've watched. <sighs> Two or three episodes. That's about it right now. What it is, is it's a building and they've got contestants that live in their apartments. They can't leave their apartments. They never see each other, but they only communicate via a special app that was made just for that building. So there's eight of them, eight contestants, what? and they, they have to create their app or create their profile and then they throw their profiles up. Do they know, do they all know they're in the same building? Yes. They all know that they're, and they know they're competing with each other because the last man standing, it's a hundred thousand dollars. I think that's what the prize is. What do they try to lure them out of the building? No, they're trying, because they vote on each other. Like, like very judgy. It's very judgy. So the first vote was about after you saw everybody's profile, rank them from first to eighth. Or first like to as seven. far as like the people looks and stuff, or the profile. Who do you think? Whatever. Which which one do you like the most? Oh, okay. And who do you and and maybe it's not that you don't like somebody, but rank them from one to seven. You're number eight. Rank them from one to seven. They, so they rank them. And then the top two ended up being the influencers. So they got special privileges and responsibilities. Got it. And the first thing they had to do that first episode was That's they had to block somebody, which meant they're off the game show. So it's kind of like a big brother, but they don't, but these guys don't yeah. see each other. And they can, and now they're to, they can text each other or like have private conversations, but it's all via this app. So they never see each other. It's kind of fun. They can it's see pictures. The circle? the circle. They can't, they can't, they can only see pictures of each other and the pictures that they choose. So they have their own galleries of pictures that they can choose what picture they want to use to because they don't want to look like a, a literally couple of them are catfishes because there's there's one girl who um she's she's pretending she is this super sexy girl and she's she's more um not not okay but she's just... <laughs> she's hilarious yeah but i like her i like her sass and she's a big girl let's just say that she's and she's she's portrays herself as this mercedes is yeah. the name that she's pretending to be and there's a guy pretending to be a girl well, this That's is going to mess with their heads. What? That's crazy. Yes, because then they're flirting because of they're course. trying to get team. They're trying to get somebody right. loyal to them so they can protect them. And that it's crazy. crazy. And so when the girl got the one girl that got blocked, she actually came in third in the voting for overall best. Yeah. But the two that are at the top are like, well, she's going to be the biggest threat. Obviously. Obviously. So we got to get rid of her. I'm, I'm going to start with that. The and so also. they got Watch rid of her. This. And so one of the things that she got when she was, she was blocked is she got to go visit any one person in the building. 
and Ooh. face to face. And she chose to go visit one of the influencers that blocked her. And it was it was interesting because they didn't believe she was who she said she was. And, and she was. And she was exactly who she said she was, but they didn't believe she was who she said she was. And they and she that felt like awful. It's, awesome. it's not bad. It's it's not bad, but it is it's called the circle on Netflix. Yeah. Um, but it's I was planning on going yeah, uh kind of got me. I don't go to Netflix a lot, but we're going to watch the Aaron Hernandez documentary. I don't know if I'm ready to watch another documentary on him. Yeah. The podcast is great. From Wondery, they did yeah. like six episodes. It was great. I think a lot is of it's based, based on, on that? that. I don't oh, know if it's okay. based specifically on that, but I mean, the story is what it is, but it's, yeah. um, it's pretty, in, it's, I've heard it's pretty intense. If it's as intense as the podcast was. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. Scary. Cause there was, there was a T the TV show came out about Jeffrey Epstein and I'm just like, eh, you know, I, and I also have my doubts because we know what happened with ABC. Wasn't it ABC that chose to spike it? Yes, and that's who had the TV show. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, it's called a make good. You're trying to you're trying to save save a little face. That's right. Not happen. And so I was. I'm just like not interested in seeing your version of events. Yeah. I've already listened to probably five podcasts and and from various perspectives. You got a PhD in and Jerry, or Jerry what? <laughs> right. And Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. I'm like Jerry. Yes, and Jeffrey. And then Jeffrey. I just saw Baden's report, the the medical examiner. And some of the pictures that he supplied when he saw the autopsy. Um, and now I'm even more convinced. Yeah, he was killed. <laughs> <laughs> he did and not kill himself. He did today. not. Uh, Jeffrey yeah, Epstein did killed. not kill himself. <laughs> that's the name of today's podcast. And I'm, I'm not on the Pat and JT podcast anymore. It's going to be JT now. I don't want to get suicided. But I have one other show too to watch for yeah. is on uh, Netflix as well. And see, I'm like you; I don't go to Netflix very often. Right. I might, I might even suspend it for a while, my my membership, and then I'll grab it for a month and just kind of binge watch whatever's new. Um, and there was a new movie that just recently came out, and for some people, they're probably going to be like, "Duh, it's been out for a while." But it was one of the newer ones that showed up in my list. It's called Falling from Grace. It's a Tyler, oh, I've heard of that. Tyler Perry, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's got Mrs. Huxtable's in it, Felicia Rashad. And Cicely Tyson is also in it. It is really good. Yeah, I've heard it's and good. And it's got a great ending. It's like, oh. Like shocker? Like, holy yeah, cow. Yeah, didn't really? see that coming. Sweet, I love yeah, those. Yeah, it's, it's a really good movie. So if you get a chance, Falling from Grace is, is super good. So there's your Netflix tips. There you go. The day. That doesn't um, happen every hour. It does not like once every 27 episodes. Right. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, thanks for listening to our podcast, patandjt.com. Links to everything, 402-403-9478. Text us. Have a great one. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.